guys and welcome to Big Baby Clothes again and I don't know why I still keep doing this type of stuff but today is Monday it's not it's actually Saturday but I'm filming this on Saturday so I'm gonna do one today tomorrow and the next day to upload to Monday Tuesday and Wednesday so it's actually been quite a lot of time I've been putting into this channel a lot lately I've already put two or three juice reviews up this week so I'm just uploading like a motherfucker excuse the language so today um, we are going to try Green Ape by Nasty Juice so this is a 70 30 3 GPG blend um, and it's apparently meant to be apple, bubble gum and uh, with a little bit of mint there so um, I've got the three milligram in nicotine strengths. These are the 10 ml bottles which are TBD com TPD compliant um, so you don't have to buy a nicotine shots for them. So we are going to do the usual we are going to drip it on my Pulse 24 RDA on the um, Free Free Drag 157 watts. Now I know 157 watts are a bit of an odd number but you know you can't fight this stuff. But just before we go on I've got a nice new background for you now guys. So I've got my juice up here, got my mugs up here and I've got all my boxes down here. So all this is going to be in the background of my videos just to give it a little bit more of a nice a fabey feel now if you notice me keep looking down here it's because I've got a TV monitor down here which is showing where my face is because sometimes my camera has a problem where my SD card will just stop in mid motion so I'm filming ramming on like a bloody idiot and I'm just ramming on to nothing because it's just not recording <laughs> okay so as usual we're on a 0.44 in coil on 60 watts, so this is Green Ape by Nasty Juice. Clay production is good. For a 70 30 Fiji PG blend, clay production is excellent. The flavour, uh, that's debatable. Um, now, you can taste the apple. It, it smells and tastes like an apple hubba bubba. Um, it tastes like that, but I cannot take. You know, you can get a little tiny bit of mint in this, but nothing too overwhelming. Uh, it's just a little bit on the inhale there, and uh, as it goes for the bubblegum part, you know, um, that might be. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like you know apple hubba bubba, but it doesn't really give you the overwhelming bubblegum part of it. Okay. It's just got a little bit of leakage here on my on my mod, so just rub it up here. Hmm. Okay. This one's interesting. So I wouldn't class this again as one of my favourites, but you know so far if you're only just started uh, watching my channel this one the j2g juice or whatever it was called that's one of my favorites and the handy's 50 spots that they are my only two favorites in uh in the class of 2018 they're the only one themable to be in my top 10 so far in the class of 2018 I just, I just don't taste it. I mean, it's not terrible. It's something that I would fape, uh, but it's not something that I could fape all the time. I mean, it's just like eating an apple hubba hubba. That's all it tastes like. I mean, my reviews, I just do it absolutely honest. Um, I'm honest with you guys. If I think it's shit, I'm going to say it's shit. I'm sorry. Um, but if it's good, I'm going to say it's good. It's, it's just as simple as that. Um, but 
each person is different. I mean, I've known some people that taste exactly different things to what I'm tasting from the exact same juice. But this one is, it's okay. It's, it's frapeable, but it's not something that I would frape on the regular. But yeah guys, that's, that's pretty much it about this juice. This, this is really a little bit more about this. So, the inhale is slightly a sour green apple and tastes just like bubblegum candy. Well, that might explain the hubba bubba part. Uh, we used to eat when we were children, yeah, the, again the hubba bubba part. The flavour opens up in the mouth with an underlying sweetness starts to emerge when the exhale pure candy apple goodness. Okay, now it's awfully confusing because it's like apple and tastes like just like bubblegum, but I'm only getting the apple part of it. It's only like the apple hubba bubba part that I'm only getting. I'm getting no overwhelming taste of a bubblegum there. But, you know, that's what it says, and, you know, that's what it is. You know, but you can't really do much more about it, I suppose. But that has been the review on Nazi Juice, the Green Ape version. So, there we go. We are going to show you right here. That is the bottle. There we go. So I've got another two juices coming for you uh, tomorrow and the next day. So I am going to try Lollipop Rape and Co. Screw it. And I am going to taste a strawberry cookie butter right here. So then once I come up for a review and uh, at some point I am going to do a review on the Foo Poo Drag. Uh, because I would have had this two weeks on Thursday so I will do a review on that so it should be another including this one four videos this week maybe I might do one on Friday as well and maybe the weekend so I might have a whole solid week of uh, vaping videos coming straight to you on either your TV monitor or your TV either way it's all good but I just do these reviews just to try to help people. Um, I don't get paid or nothing like that to do it. Um, to be honest, I, I like doing these because I like making videos like this. I like to entertain people and uh, and shit for Sam. <laughs> but uh, if I have a chance to try it and help other people, um, if they're not sure about something, I mean, they've got plenty of other decent e-juice reviewers over like England and America and, and everything like that that are way better than me but I just like to put my two cents in and you know try to make it just a little bit to to help people realize that vaping is a lot better than smoking and you know what juices are going to be good for them what flavors are going to be good for them devices and you know and all that other type of stuff but thanks a lot guys for watching and let's do the signature part. See guys can't do this. Thanks a lot guys and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.